Boker Tov, I'm Stephen Ben-Noon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. Another disturbing images are coming out of Egypt as the American-backed uh, government there in Egypt, the police there, have gunned down and murdered an innocent 34-year-old mother who is doing a peaceful protest there in, in um, Cairo. Uh, one of the articles here that I was able to pick up uh, after seeing this, I saw originally showing you some of the live footage now on the, uh, from um, Al Jazeera's uh, website there. They were covering the news live this morning when I caught it. It says, uh, Shamal Sabah, heartbreaking pictures show moments of panic after leading e e the Egyptian female protester dies after being shot by police. They say this was bird shot, but clearly uh, by the photos there, and I, I do not want to share the first particular photo right before her death there where you can tell she's been shot in the back of the head uh, by uh, gunshot. It definitely appears to be more than just bird shot that has, that has hit her because she has too much loss of blood in the photos there. You can see though by the video footage there uh, that she is uh, peacefully pro uh, protesting there uh, th this protest, by the way, it was uh, a march in central Cairo ahead of the anniversary of the 2011 uprising against Hosni Mubarak. Uh, but the 34-year-old was shot and killed in the street as, as she marched uh, towards the Tahrir Square. Protests have claimed she was shot by police who were attempting to disperse the marchers. This is an, uh, an article by Anthony Bond uh, who wrote about this and... I am, let's see, I'm not sure what article where he wrote that at, but anyway, he is the author of this. It says the Egyptian Prime Minister, uh, Ibrahim uh, Mahalab, said the death of Al Sabah, who had, fi had a five year old son, would be investigated. Al Sabah was shot by birdshot, who's, su who's supposed to be, sp which, which is supposed to be uh, non lethal, and was later declared dead in, in, in the hospital. It is obvious from the photos that, that we have seen. Uh, that she actually died on the street. She's being carried away. Uh, some of these I can show you. I just don't want you to, uh, for, for a younger audience that might see this video, don't want to see her just moments before her death there as she is uh, in a state of shock. Uh, very disheartening to see that, that even when you're trying to do something peaceful, uh, that the police have no regard for life whatsoever, and especially to aim at a woman and to, to, to kill her in cold blood. Uh, is comes not only on the head of the Egyptian government, but as well as the United States for backing such a government that is not a, nothing but a murderous regime. Uh, so anyway, in further news, uh, uh, the um, general, uh, excuse me, the uh, defense minister Yolan uh, in Israel, on Israel National News, he, uh, there was an article there that says Israel will work to depose Assad if attacked from Syria. Uh, the defense minister there says he, uh, that he will hold Damascus responsible over any revenge attacks launched from the Syria for, for last week's Golan strike. While Israel prepared for the fallout from last, uh, from last week's uh, elimination of top Hezbollah terrorist and Iranian general on the Golan Heights, defense minister Moshe Yalan held a message for, for anyone planning an attack um, against Israel from the direction of Syria. Israel would hold Damascus responsible for any revenge attacks. Uh, he says, uh, tensions remain high in the north, north of Israel and in the aftermath of the uh, elimination of Jihad Mukhani, said uh, to be Hezbollah's commander of the Golan Heights area, along with a crew of Hezbollah terrorists and Iranian General Abu Ali Tabatabi, Roads in the area of Israel's uh, Lebanon border have been closed. Also, the United States has, been, has issued a travel uh, alert for Americans traveling into the region of Israel with, all, with, the, with the heightened tensions. And uh, uh, they're also saying that uh, any uh, U.S. official traveling within uh, one and a half miles of the northern border of Israel must give a one-day notice uh, to, the, to the American government. It is a tense situation, and I would have to agree, if you are planning a trip to Israel, you may really want to consider whether or not to go or not at this time. Uh, you have to understand that Hezbollah has already stated that they are going to target the Ben-Gurion airport 
in their uh, uh, strike when they do strike. So it could be a very volatile situation. And then you may find yourself, if they are successful in striking the airport, not being able to leave the country if there is an all-out ground invasion, something you may want to consider in any of your plans there. As well, the Ukrainian um, uh, people, the, the, there's been many more uh, attacks from the, uh, the current Ukrainian uh, government that is attacking the the uh, separatists in the south, uh, they have been fighting regardless of any of the ceasefires that have been asked to, to be uh, honored. And it is uh, obvious that the Ukrainian government has tried to take advantage of everything they possibly can, hoping that Russia will stay out of this so that they can squash and kill every Russian um, citizen that was living in Ukraine. They want to stomp them out and press them out of the country there. Again, another United States-backed uh, uh, regime that came in there by force and is top, trying to topple the Ukrainian people uh, and bringing it into the United, uh, excuse me, into the European Union. A lot of very interesting things happening in and around the world. We'll be bringing you up to date more again on uh, news. Uh, don't know about today, but probably tomorrow there as we get back into the swing of things after Shabbat here. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.